Hi guys, it's day 62 of the national lockdown here in South Africa. We are in our last week of level 4. Um, Friday will be literally 9 weeks since the lockdown has started, which is literally triple the amount of weeks that we were supposed to have, or triple the amount of days that we were supposed to have. Uh, the national lockdown was supposed to be over after day 21, but then that was extended for another two weeks. And then after the two weeks, we spent another four weeks on level four. Um, as always, South Africa is very quick with their memes and very quick to point out certain things. So you're allowed to go to church, but you can't open your hair salon, which probably only allow what? four people at a time, the hairdresser, the person washing your hair, and the client. So if you space your clientele, right, or schedule them in such a way that there's always going to be four people within the salon, why can't they go and cut hairs? Well, it doesn't really bother me because I'm actually wanting to grow my hair. But you know what I mean. It's just the logic of it. We're not too sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more. Today I saw an article stating the reason why that they are only lifting the ban of selling of cigarettes in level one. And I can tell you now that it's a feasible excuse. They're stating that you are more likely to get the coronavirus from smoking. Um, how if you've been locked down for so many fucking weeks? And my argument still stands. I actually need to go research this. My argument still stands. If you've been smoking for 40 years and you stop smoking for two weeks, your lungs are still going to be damaged. Sorry, that was my dad sneezing. Your lungs are still going to be damaged. Even if you had stopped smoking at the beginning of the lockdown, your lungs are still going to be damaged. It's not going to go, right, let's go, people. You're probably wondering why I've got my hair slicked back and this very old jacket which I cannot close because I'm 93 kilos. Um, tonight I am doing a play reading of Twelfth Night for the Mars Theatre. Um, it's been produced by Constantia Berg Theatre Players. Obviously if you've been going through my theatre talk on a Thursday you will see some of the societies that comes up. Um, I swear to God that this jacket is older than me. I wonder if I can find out the tag. It says here Rex Trueform, and Rex Trueform is a factory in Woodstock. Most of the, the, the costumes at the Mars Theatre is actually um, donated. So yeah, so that is happening. Um, it is now winter, and it's freaking cold, and there's snow on the mountain. So it's cold throughout the Western Cape. And even though they also said that the flu season has been delayed by two months, I'm like, do the virus think like, you know, okay, Corona's here, let's just take a step back, let it do its thing, and then we come back afterwards. Don't understand that. Um... <laughs> I've never gotten the flu shot. All the people that I've known who've gotten the flu shot have gotten sick afterwards, which I don't understand. But anyway, each to their own. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's happening so far. Um, I believe that there were some teachers petitioning or picketing. I don't know if it's the teachers or the parents who are picketing about sending their kids to school on Monday. I actually saw a friend of mine who I was actually on stage with. She's actually a teacher and she posted a picture and I swear to God, I literally thought it was from a video game. The gear that she was wearing, it was like, girl, <laughs> who are you fighting, Goku? <laughs> yeah. So it's day 62 of the national lockdown, the final week of level four.